Welcome to Date with Danu right here on Hi TV, your luxury channel. This is an exclusive show. We are going to be speaking about smart investments. Let's speak more on the show with how you can make more out of the money you have. Hi, I'm Sonali. Hi, I'm Pramu. And we are here to go on a date with Danu. We live in Melbourne, Australia. Two of us run, runs a financial and a wealth management company. We're super excited to go on a date with Danu. We've been watching his shows from Melbourne as well. So looking forward to a fun filled hour. So I'm happy to have Sonali and Pramu, Pramudita Rodda, <laughs> a.k.a. on the show. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. How are you doing? Very, Very good. Well, thank Very you. Good. You have the Australian accent? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> there it came. <laughs> Please uh, tell the following words I want to know. Uh, uh, how do you say tartar sauce? Tartar sauce? Do you say tartar or tate? Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll call it tartar. Oh, my yeah. God. Like, it depends, it depends, it depends, it depends. <laughs> All right. So, um, to start with, you all have watched this show? Yes. Good. I just want to let you know that yeah. we have a reach in Australia. <laughs> uh, so, you all will be watching this show when you all are in Aussie, no? Of course. Ah, yeah, great. Superb. So, s I have to tell you one thing, though. When I spoke to him yesterday, these were his exact words about you. Uh. She holds the keys to... Everything. Obviously, yeah. Everything of mine too. Yeah. yeah. True. Good that he knows that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's start before we get into all the technical things. How did you all meet? You want to sell the Tuition no. class. Tuition class <laughs> at yes. Shakti Institute? Yes, we did go to we Shakti. Did go there, yeah. Okay, but the that was not where the love. No, so it was some small tuition class in Moratuba, in Moratuba. economics class. Ah, okay. Yes. Surprisingly, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> for the class or for you? Uh, Actually, I was asked to go to the class from the school because I have been missing all the classes Oh. economics. So you were busy with what in school? You were busy with what in school? I was playing a bit of cricket, so... Right. So therefore, you have to miss the yeah. classes. And there you met her. Yes. In fact, I have seen her before. Eyes but were already set? Um, no. no. <laughs> you saying but wasn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, d during the tuition class, yeah. uh, got to know each other. And then but then it yeah. ended up in marriage. That's a process. Mm -hmm. Who kept it going? Me? Was it me or you? I well, both of us, I, I would say. Us, I yeah. Yeah. Did you have yeah. any disturbance on the way? Probably not on the way, probably before we started. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> At least for you. Yes. We were a very unlikely couple on paper. So oh, let's wow. Just okay. Say that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but it has worked. That's the best part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've been together. So I, it's yeah. very easy to understand. You are the one who can, like, manage, can, like, you know, have everything under control. Then you have him. Yes. I think so. You are the perfect glue to sort of balance him out. So. Right, he said the same thing, yeah. but in a very, uh, in a very interesting way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have loved to be a fly <laughs> on the wall there. That's all. That's that's all the discussion we had. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you all moved to Aussie, as many Sri Lankans have. So how is Colombo 16 doing? Colombo 16. What's Colombo 16? Again? Melbourne. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so. It's the first time I heard about this. Really? Yeah. Actually, Come on, though, it's, yeah. it's well, Columbus 16. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah, it oh. makes sense. So tell me about Columbus 16. How is it going there? It's awesome. And uh, I mean, good thing about Melbourne is sort of Sri Lankans there. I know. And Can't scold in Singhalese as well. Uh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, it, it happened to me the f when I initially moved to Melbourne. Yeah. It was in the university. All I'm hearing is Singhalese. I actually thought... <laughs> Have I actually come to Melbourne? <laughs> Where the hell I am? Yeah. But it, it, it's the community is good, so you you, you don't miss Sri Lanka um, that much. Because if you want to get a bit of you know kotu roti or whatever you mm. like, it's enough enough shops around. Right. So it's it, it's it's fun. Yeah, it's good. 
um, it's not about going to Melbourne, but also like creating a life there. Is is it a hard task? I think um, it's how you look at it. So, uh, good thing about Australia as as a country is it it, it gives you a fair chance. Hmm. So, if you want to achieve something, and and if you set your eyes, this is what this is what I want to be, or this is what I want to become. It gives you every single possibility, every single chance. Right. So, um, in in my opinion, I went for studies there, and then we got into um, employment, and then we started our own business. And that journey for for a, a migrant. It's not that tough if you really want to take those certain uh, decisions and, and put the hours into it, mm. you can achieve it. There are no shortcuts there. Everything is like no. yeah. black and white here. Yeah. 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 And you have to like do it. Yeah. Uh, you can't make a phone call like here and be like, do a favor for uh, me. No. None, of those <laughs> <laughs> none, of, none of those are going to work. Uh, now, because you all have watched this show, we thought we need to throw you right into the deep end deep with end. a segment called Hot Six. Welcome back to the show. So, they have done some research on this show. We thought we'll give them some questions. If the one who answers honestly, we'll walk away with the gift bag from Crystal. Okay. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Now, this is in terms of their job, what they do, and how we can benefit from it. We'll come back to it on the show a little later. But, little secret, they have signed Banuka up as an ambassador. Right. Here we go. If you had to pick another cricketer as a brand ambassador, apart from Banu Rajapaksa for your brand, who will you pick? From current? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Charmika? So Charmika is your second choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to, right? <laughs> I can't think of it. Yeah? Do you have one? Not from the current lot. Oh, really? Yes. That's it. There's only one. Yes. <laughs> Anything, anyone else from the earlier lots? Mahela. Mahela. Okay. If you were given the chance to take two people from the Sri Lankan parliament to Australia, which two from the following would you pick? Ardu. Maitri Pali Sirisena, Nama Rajapaksa, Mahind Rajapaksa, Sajit Premadasa. Take, take them to Australia. To yeah. do what though? No, all, with PR and citizenship. For them to settle down there, I reckon they can do whatever they want. They there. want, right? Yeah. Sajid Premadasa would take. We have to take two people. Two people. Um, <laughs> Sajid Premadasa and I would take Mahindra Rajapaksa. Okay. And put them in the same house. <laughs> That'll be nice. I didn't know about the living arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> uh, for you. I think I'll pick the same too. And put them in the same house as well? <laughs> yes, and watch how they go about it. <laughs> that should be fun. According to you, who do you think was the real star of the 96 Cricket World Cup? Sanan Jayasurya, Arjun Ranatunga, Aravind De Silva, Mutta Oh, That's a hard one. You want me to go first? Yeah. To me, it's, it's, it's Sanan Jayasurya. Yeah, I'll have to say Sanan Jayasurya as well. Describe the following people in one word. Malit Pereira. He lives in Melbourne, no? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he lives in Melbourne. <laughs> Singer? I mean, I, I, will, I will meet him. It's like him, saying, you know. describe Elizabeth in one word, the Queen. <laughs> yes, we all know. <laughs> We're going to meet him, so we need to be careful. <laughs> Rose is here in uh, I don't know. Sorry. Okay. See? She's getting it. I like that. Beautiful. Okay. Harsha De Silva. Harsha De Silva. Economic person, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, yeah, just gone blank on that yeah, name. Yeah, no, I know. I think Ranjan Ramanaika. Bold. Hmm? Bold? Isn't it? Bold. <laughs> <laughs> he is, right? Yeah, I he think is bold. so. Yeah. Um, 
Raja Ramanayaka, out there person. All right. Bhatia or Santosh? Bhatia or Santosh, we have to describe in one word no. or pick Bhatia one? Bhatia or Santosh, which one? Santosh. Bhatia. If you were stuck in an elevator with the following people and you had to make conversation or make out, who would you make the conversation with and who would you make out with? Your options are Piyumi Hansamali, Shandimal Jayasinghar, Pushpikadi Silva. Let's start with make out. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Can we add someone else to that <laughs> list? That's all that lift is carrying, just the five of you. Make out. <laughs> ah, five of us. Yeah. So Him. No, both of you all can't <laughs> make out. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good choice. Uh, you answer wisely. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> 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 it is a trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, she might as well go Pumi Han Somali. She's on Pumi Han Somali, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just join on the fun. You did it first, so yeah. that's why. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just All following right. her choice. That is true. Good choice. <laughs> well done. Uh, I think both of you are winners. It's hard for me to choose one. We're getting into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's day to <laughs> Welcome back to the show. So now I'm going to ask him the obvious question. What do you guys do? What is TFS? I've got it right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who answers this money question? <laughs> he can go first. So, um, Tomorrow Financial Solution, which is known as TFS, it's a, a mortgage brokering practice. Uh, so, we help uh, first home buyers to investors to buy their properties, whatever the properties they want to buy. So, we help them by uh, assisting to get a home loan for them hmm. by speaking to different banks. Um, and also, we help uh, people to plan their retirement, build an investment uh, portfolio. Uh, do their budgeting properly, proper savings. Um, so that's what, in a very, very um, basic shell, if I to tell you what TFS or Tomorrow Financial Solution does. And we have different uh, other. So companies. you all have three avenues we in do. terms of yeah. what you all do. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the initial start of your first avenue. So, like you said, um, see the economy class, how much it has helped. <laughs> yes, yeah. I used to do short notes for him. There so you go, more. You have learned more because I of know, that. right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, like you said, we do finance um, for people who want to buy property. Right. Um, so that's the first bit of it. Uh, but after they do that, if they're smart enough with their purchase, they can leverage on that and buy more investments. So we help with that part of it. Second, so building up an investment portfolio. Um, and then the third part is planning their retirement. How are you, once you finish working, your work life, how are you going to live a good lifestyle afterwards as well? So all three go hand in hand. So we have a lot of clients who go on the journey with us right. from day one. And in Australia, you can actually plan your retirement. Yes. Like is, your rupee rate is not going to depreciate so much <laughs> that you're going to end up not buying a pound of bread. Yeah. <laughs> from today true. onwards, I'll just buy a slice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a good thing. So how, what made you all get into this? Like what made you all start this as your profession? Um, I think... Um, my, I got a job in ANZ, one of the banks. So I start learning about the mortgages, how the lending side of the home loans works. And then at the same time, Sonali was working um, for a financial planning company. Mm. So after work, having dinner, we talk about, so these, these two started resonating in my head. Come on now, financial planning and lending, they all work together. So what are these investments about? Well, she talks about managed funds to property, uh, shares, so, so many asset classes. So I always wanted to uh, have something like that to myself, or both of us. Um, so that's where we, we actually initially started a property company. Right. That, that's how we started it. So her boss sort of helped me out to um, start the business. So I actually walked out from ANZ one day. Mm. I said, you know what, this is it. I'm going to start my own. And her boss helped me out to um, her clients, to service her clients. So then the property business uh, was doing doing good. 
Um, then obvious option is to bring home loans to help the people to buy the houses. Mm. So that started and um, later on uh, I wanted Sonali in the business because her brains and, and her expertise in the financial planning can actually add our third segment which I wanted to do it. So in 2015 or 16 you joined yeah. full time with, with us, uh, with, with our company. So yeah. Yeah. And so the third avenue is to? Have the third avenue where we buy the property, finance the property and then use that and leverage it off to build an investment portfolio. Amazing. That can, yeah, take so many forms. that is the process now. I, I was told that, you know, you all started with one property and then you all have been able to like, you know, as, as a, you all have an example within your own lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, how does it work? So I, I buy a property, you know, I have like a house. What do I do with it? So most of the time when you buy a property, you live in it, right? So yeah. that's your place, your place of residence. And then uh, the value of that property when it goes up, so either Sonali or myself will we'll do evaluation of the value and then we'll speak to a bank and we'll take that uh, capital growth out and help the person to buy another property. Now that second property is your investment property. Right. So then it'll start also giving the same capital growth as well as rentals. So then we, Sonali and I, um, in our business, we have a team of uh, guys there. So we structure it in a manner that some cases they don't even pay a single dollar to, to hold Both one those. investment property. And That's amazing. Uh, so you, 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 you build on it. Hmm. So you can even go up to you know, 10, 20 properties if you, have the, yeah. if you have the willingness to do it. And also it's, it's an investment and it's yeah. great for you kids and things like that. But how does Sri Lanka get involved? That's what we have to speak about when we do come back because if you're living here and trying to figure out, hold on, that sounds like a nice plan, but how do I do it? We'll give you answers very soon. But right now you're on this show and we need to put them through the usual mill and we have something called On A Scale. Now this is like being back at that econ class. Is it? You yeah. Have to write the <laughs> answers? You have to write the answers big so that we can see it on the cameras. Don't okay. write it very small. Okay. All right, be honest. And you can judge if he is being honest. Okay. And you can do the same, vice versa. Okay. Here we go. How well do you keep your promises in your personal life? On a scale of one, one to ten. Ten, ten, ten being, being the best, one being the lowest. And I'm talking about myself. Yeah. Okay. Big, big, write it big. Now show it to the camera. Given a ten. Nine. There's the camera. <laughs> Nine. All right. Second question. How likely are you to ring up an ex for a favor? Oh. Have to have an ex, no? To ring? You don't have. No. This is one and only. Yes. Candy Lamisi moment. <laughs> you have all. Uh, this well, is I didn't see his answer though. Uh, zero, zero, ah. zero. <laughs> <laughs> he also might not be having X. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course. Do you think what happened in school is not what we <laughs> were going to talk it about. That doesn't count, right? That doesn't count. Yeah. St. Thomas's, you know, those corridors, if they can talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment of. <laughs> it's not a haunting, it's a howling. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. How happy are you with your work right now? Okay. Well, seems like she's doing it. <laughs> That's oh, what she's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you read that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how important is that you exercise daily? Mm. It's important, but I didn't <laughs> say I'm doing it. <laughs> right, got it. Okay. Uh, okay. What are the chances that you will fall asleep when you're watching a movie? Mm. Depends on the movie, right? 
can't go technical. Okay. You all will, no? Or you all won't? Won't. Won't. Okay. All right. Is it okay to check out another person when you are married, but just to check out? So is, is, is that a scalable answer? Yeah. Or is that a yes or no answer? Scalable answer. <laughs> 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 I just had to ask him. <laughs> what did you do? I'm an a, full, uh, a full 10 there. Like, yes, you can check out yeah. anything and everything. You <laughs> said scalable, so. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. That was, that was fun. I had to like, change some of the questions because I thought this was going well. So here's the question, how can you make your rupees be more valuable in Australia? So that's where these guys come in. You know, I have heard a little bits and pieces about it, so I thought I should just ask you guys. So I'm here, I live in Piliandala, how can I make an investment in Colombo 16? So first of all, you, you have to understand what you want to buy, and then um, do a bit of numbers. Um, to figure out whether whether it's, uh, it's something that you can afford, uh, because the property investments is it's not you do it for three months. It, it's a it's a medium to long term. So once you understand where you want to invest or what kind of a um, asset class, whether it's a property or whether it's a managed fund, um, then you can uh, speak to uh, to our company or to us anytime because our details are. On on our websites, so we can then guide that person into that process. So it could be a saving, it could be an investment in a bank, it could be an investment in terms of property. Yes. So yes. anything goes. Anything so you goes. don't need to be a resident of, or like, you don't need to be a resident in Aussie. No. So there are certain criteria you have to follow. Um, not not uh, every property you can buy. Um, so very basic aspect would, would be you're buying a brand new property. In, in Australia, uh, one of the things that Australia wants to improve is their construction industry. Right. So therefore, they have opened the doors uh, to pretty much to everywhere in, you know, in, in, in the world. Uh, you can buy your land and build a house. Right. Uh, so, so there are a few criteria you have to um, tick. So, and uh, there is another uh, uh, aspect called uh, Foreign Investment Review Board. So we call it FIRB. Mm. So you have to put an application to them and they will review that. Once you give that approval, then you can proceed to the next steps of buying. Um, the process is very simple from that point onwards. Uh, you know, buy the land, build the house, or, or buy something just being built. Mm. Um, and then from that point onwards, um, you can rent it out, or even you can use it to, to, to use it for yourself whenever you come to, to that area. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of all the guidance, mm. guidelines, how to take a loan, how to make the right choice you all sit everyone through that yes so we have a team um, who will guide each each of these clients from the start to the end okay um, so Nani, I'm sure in working with so many people would have realized there are a lot of Sri Lankans who have sort of bribed people to come into Aussie it's like a common thing you know boat to you know if we can we'll even get onto a CTV bus and get try and get there you know it ha there have been moments yeah. and people have been fooled mm. and have people reached out to you all after that, you know, we have lost all our money or we have been like, what can we do about it? Have you faced such situations? To be honest, no. Um, we haven't really had anyone who's lost money. Not lost money. Yeah. Um, what we have heard is they haven't actually got the, right the growth. But yeah. what they right. should have got the return on investment yeah. aspect of that. Okay. Uh, in, in Australia, this is, this is why Australia is a very good place to invest. Um, worst thing that could happen, um, instead of having a 50% uh, growth, you may have a 2% growth. So you but it's still a growth. It's still a growth. You're not going to go through a loss. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's right. a good thing. Yeah. But again, like I said before, uh, property is a long term. 
you cannot make a decision within six months saying my property hasn't gone up in value. Mm. So you have to give, give a bit of time for it to grow and people sometimes when you buy areas like brand new areas, you have to let that area to grow as Develop. well. Yeah. And so it's like yeah. a, it's a few years that's going yes. to take and yeah. yeah. We have had some people who haven't bought well. Mm. I think we both ag um, agree on the philosophy that you make money when you buy. So you have to make smart decisions on where you buy, what you buy, how much you spend for it. So if you do those things, then you will, you know, be able to build on that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's something where they'll have to come to you all for guidance because somebody who might not be living there will never understand that's the true. real yeah. 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 space and what is the most trending place right yeah. now. Yes. yes. Because there's a lot of, um, lot of talk, a uh, lot of uh, information has been shared mm. online saying that you can uh, buy an investment property uh, very quickly, very easily, mm. and then in about a year's time, it can double. Right. Yeah. And the, the reality is not that. Yeah. That, that's yeah. not how it works. Um, how long have you been married for? 17, 17. years this year. 17 years? Yes. 17 years. What, yeah. you were 20 when you got married? 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> <laughs> the next segment will be very easy. It's called <laughs> our kinky segment. <laughs> So this is a kinky question. What's the longest you have gone without doing it? Oh, I can't share this video with my parents then, can I? That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say what I'm talking about. <laughs> the two weeks? What is he talking about? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he gave the answer. Uh, what's the oh, wait? The what's the duration that has been the longest? Doing it. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't see you ask these questions from a lot of people. So you have not watched all the shows. <laughs> no, I haven't actually watched. Yeah, there you go. But That's the problem. So you can answer that. No, I'm not <laughs> answering you. I'm not here. <laughs> I haven't timed. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Have you seen the sun set and rise? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want me to answer this? Yeah. Yeah? Answer, sir. One time or you like the whole day? Just, just, just. It's a yes or no question. <laughs> Oh a God. day, 12 yeah. hours. I mean, yeah. When you were young. Yeah. Right. Got the energy. <laughs> I don't consider myself old. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, you Moving on to the next thing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's okay. it. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Uh, well, you know, you know the reason. You have to now stop doing your work. Because you're the only one who has gone old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is when you take up starfish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you after the break. <laughs> and welcome back to the show. Have you all recovered from our earlier segment? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure your parents will understand. <laughs> we didn't speak about anything bad. No. It's it only true. if you have your mind in the, in the gutter. gutter. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoy the gifts from Midnight Divas. You can really spice it up. <laughs> For old people. Yeah. <laughs> For old people. <laughs> uh, All right, let's, let's speak about the hardship. You know, everyone thinks getting out there to a different country is always great. Everyone is like, I want to go abroad. It's a, it's a, it's a very, it's an answer that a lot of people say. But it's not as easy as we see it from the outside. Mm -hmm. You know, how hard was it when you guys went there and when you all had to make it? You all are the first generation. And of course, you all have set a nice base for your kids. Mm -hmm. But how tough was it for you all? I think initially, because we moved when we were 21, it mm. was a lot easier than if, say, you moved later in life. Right. I must say that because we had, an, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to adapt to a new country when you're Correct. a lot younger. Um, like it's easier to like the cut the carnify. That's mm. true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, 
I think we moved, we had about $800 or something in our bank account. Mm. So didn't have money to buy a car, couldn't afford internet. <laughs> you know, you did the, you know, the uh, hard yards. Yeah. Um, we had a car space where we lived, but we had a trolley parked there. <laughs> right. <laughs> because that's <laughs> what we vehicle. used, that was our vehicle. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a lot of hard work. He'd worked two jobs, cleaning, pizza shop, you know, all of that. Um, but then little by little with hard work, you can, like you said, if you have the right mindset, make it work. Um, yeah. If you set your sights to what you want to do, um, it's a land of opportunity. So and also it's, it's about being consistent, That's correct? That's right, yeah. yeah. You can't just get caught up in the lifestyle before you can get your life to be that style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, and also that way, it, it, in, in Australia, they don't judge you for what you do. There's no... Mm. Um, they respect every profession. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Whether yeah. you can be a cleaner or the CEO of the company, can sit down together and have a beer at the end of the day. Mm. So uh, that, that sort of enables uh, people to work hard and go up in the ladder. Mm. But we were a bit lucky, like Sanali said, because we were 21, mm. no, um, we, don't have, we, we, don't have, we didn't have kids. So just two of us, just enjoy the life. Mm. We can take a bit of risk, mm. work in the night, so it it it, um, it helped us to grow as a uh, couple together mm -hmm. as well. Understand mm -hmm. the financial side of how the Australia works and saving side of it. Mm -hmm. so, so step by step, uh, you move forward. That is true, <laughs> uh, because it's never that easy when you see it from the outside. It's always it has a story of its own inside. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of the companies that you have got into. This time your visit to Sri Lanka was to push the element of Sri Lankans having a secure path even in Aussie. Now investments in Aussie, would it give me a better leverage in getting either a PR or citizenship or even getting the visa faster to get there? Does that sort of give you a better leverage? Um, it, it act, uh, if I to tell you very straightforward, no it doesn't. So what it does is it gives you uh, so the Australian government will see you have an interest in our country, right? That's because you have already invested. So when you decide to put an application um, for your permanent residence, you even move uh, move there for a holiday. Uh, that is a plus, a plus right. sign. But then you have to go through the normal process or criteria for your permanent residence, your move, their migration aspect of it. You have to do that separately. Uh, just because you're buying property doesn't mean that you will be handed over the permanent residence. There used to be a, there used to be certain criteria which have now changed. Um, so I'm not a migration expert to, to give that information, yeah. but there are certain areas um, uh, Sri Lankans can obviously speak to migra migration agents and get that information. Uh, but uh, investment side of it, buying a property, my, my advice to um, Sri Lankans is it, it's, a, it's another um, economy. Rather than when you're, we are in Sri Lanka, we all know the, the struggle that we have. But you can invest in a, in a stable economy where you, your growth is sort of, it's given, mm. it's there. And then if you think about in the long term aspect of it, uh, the long term trend in Australia has shown property growth has been there quite significant growth. So every 10 years, there is a you know, value can double. Mm. So if you, if you hold it for long term, your investment will do a very great deal uh, for, for you. So, th so, th so you shouldn't mix up investing versus migrating. Yeah. So these are both two different journeys. Two different journeys. But it sort of helps when you have. Yeah. 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 Uh, wanted to ask you guys, now in Sri Lanka, if somebody wants to reach out, is there a place that we can reach out here? Is there a company, is there a body that's representing your company here in Sri Lanka? They can reach out to us via our website. Um, I, I'm always back and forth to Sri Lanka. Give uh, me a website, so we'll just do a pop up at this very moment. Yeah, yeah. So, so our website, yeah. uh, which is multiple websites as well. So we can, <laughs> we can go to, uh, you can go to uh, www.tomorrowfs.com.au. That's the one, which yeah. we'll just pop it up for you. Uh, so you can uh, get connected and come to know more details about how you can make the right choices in investment. Uh, it's always nice to know about, you know, coming from a country that may have not given so many uh, avenues to sort of grow and create a name for yourself, but you guys 
at such a, such a short time period, you were able to not only help yourself, but also so many people around you in terms of jobs, in terms of investment, planning, all of that. Uh, let's get into a segment. Uh, do you all like playing the games? I'm afraid, yeah. yeah. Except for the geeky one. It's <laughs> called Yes or No. We have questions you walk away with. Well, now that you're here, you all need to eat Sri Lankan food. Of course. Yeah. Chariot, you all don't know, no? Were you in school when Chariot was there in front yes. of St. Peter's College? Yes. The course. best school in town. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm in the middle here. So. <laughs> no, don't you agree about the chariot <laughs> part yes. being good? Yeah. 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 We'll that, stick to that. that, that. <laughs> 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 and here in Mount Lavinia, they had nothing, okay? <laughs> Only <laughs> now they, they had Ulunduwade those days. Little Star. They had. Ah, Little, little Star. Little now star they're was there. Yeah. Keels was there. Keels? Keels, they had really good hot dogs. Okay. <laughs> See, the choices are quite small. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I must say, uh, I definitely like the talent that comes from St. Thomas's. Mm. Just leaving it there. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you believe in manifestation? Sure. Would you like to go back to being a child? No. He says no. Huh. Are you good in the mornings? Good mood, good person. Do you wake up chirpy? Yeah, I, he chirpy, no. Did he say yes? No, he doesn't wake up chirpy. Are you a grumpy morning person? No, I wake up very early. So there's nobody's woken up. So you are a grumpy one? No, email that I'm a grumpy. Ah, right, right, right. <laughs> you are grumpy on the emails, okay. <laughs> Can you hold a dark secret for someone close to you? Have you ever not made it to the toilet? Me too. Wait, how old were you then? <laughs> Do you want to ask? Yeah. A couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the highway. Oh. I couldn't stop the car. Oh. God. You know For what? me, it was on the way to Gaul, oh, no. <laughs> and I missed the exit because of the stress. Oh, I think I exploded. <laughs> ah, it's a problem. Uh, would you ever give up on social media for a year? For a year? No. No. Have you ever passed the blame to someone else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 do you try to please everyone? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He said yes. Do you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's coming to know another side to him. <laughs> like what? Really? What <laughs> yes. okay. This is the true person. He is. <laughs> he has hidden it well. <laughs> do you ever feel jealous? Um. Of what? Of other people. Ah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do, but they're like six packs and all. Oh, ah. that, oh yeah. yeah. Those yeah. really annoy me, answer. like, you know. But they're like, you know, you know, we also go to, to Gaul, but, you know, we put our shirt and put all the buttons. Don't want to just show just because you have six packs. <laughs> Nonsense. Anyway, congratulations. I will say, uh, I'm going to give it to the two of you. Uh, the reason is, she has seen a new version to you. Mm. Yeah. That is true. You better, you better sustain this <laughs> <laughs> image. Anyway, what's his is mine anyway. Ah, that is true. Fine. What's his is also yours. What's yours is also yours. Fact. Amazing. Yeah. Let's get into a break. We'll see you right up. Our final segment and I have to ask these guys, you know, it's always easy to preach. But when you have to practice what you preach, it's really hard. Talk about investments. Do y'all take your own advice? Yes. Yes. We definitely yes. do. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the time, how we look at an investment is, would we do it for ourselves? And if the answer is yes, then we would recommend it to a client. 
because if the answer is no, then hand to heart, we can't recommend it to someone. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a it's always a combination between myself and Sonali. Yeah. Um, I have a specific task where I, I go and acquire property and uh, do negotiations with specific people to get them under a market value. And then Sonali does the um, research side of it and say, yep, it, it's aligned with this particular person's profile. And we do the same thing to ourselves. Yeah. Right. So if it's a yes from both of us, yeah. and that that's a yes, a yes to the, for the client, client as well. Yeah. Okay. So it's always a, a process uh, that we use. And we, we, we practice the same thing for ourselves. And w I'm happy to say we've done very well. Uh, and at the same time, I can uh, be very happy for some of our clients who, who have been with us from, from the day one. We have gone beyond uh, you know, double digits in, when it comes to the property side of it for these clients as well. So uh, for them right now, if they want to re retire, they can. Mm. Because the rental income itself is good enough for them to live a good life. Yeah. Yeah. So combination works very well. I love the combination. That's amazing. <laughs> Do you think you can put this same module to good use here in Sri Lanka? Ooh, good question. I, I, I think yeah, yes. The property market here yeah. or yeah. people investing over there? Uh, no, here. Yeah. I think yes. I think but but yeah. there's a quite a lot of changes need to happen from the government. Um, lending side of it. So, my opinion is the government needs to start supporting people to to invest. Hmm. Hmm. See, at the moment, the I believe killer, the roads are pretty much hmm? closed. The loan rates are killer. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not just the rates sometimes, hmm. right? So, in, in Australia, when you buy an investment property, Australian government or tax office gives you benefits. Hmm. Uh, so, if you are a high income earner, all the cost that you has been having for the investment property is tax deductible. Oh wow! So we have high tax there. So then the, all the high tax earners ended up buying investment properties because it's an investment the for them. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because it's tax And the deductible. government likes that process there. So, so that this is this is this is a two way stream. Mm -hmm. So I think Sri Lanka hopefully will will come come to that stage. But there are quite a lot of changes needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that very depressing note for me. <laughs> uh, but I must say, thank you so very much for being here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the show. We did. And uh, thanks. Thank you for thank having you, us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. Well, if you do want any more details, you could always reach out to them. We have given the website on our... Uh, on the show as well so it will be an easier way for you to communicate and if not just speak to Barnukra whenever you see him somewhere if you see him playing cricket just stop him and say here can you tell us about this thing what you're doing so he might be able to give you something for at the same time all right on that note uh, we need to wrap things up thank you so much for being on the show with us we'll see you soon Holding on for myself, is it gonna be enough when